thank you for watching this video this is gonna be a walk around on a 2017 Honda Pilot the, the points I'm gonna make is actually now we can we're gonna see colors and we'll go to uh, a low trim on the outside the difference between uh, EXL and the touring and elite so we, and also we're gonna go to a feature of the touring vehicle and then show you and point out the, some of the features that goes in the touring that's available on the EXL also as well as showing the features only on the touring okay let's get started so as you can see here this is the colors some of the colors of the pilot the XL 2017 and touring so I was just gonna say pilot uh, now um, also uh, I'll point out the trims so in the front that's uh, a pilot EXL and then a pilot tool. So if you can see, you can see that little crumb right in the bottom here. And then the EXL doesn't have that crumb. It's a nice little touch. The touring comes with the 22 inch wheels. The EXL goes to 18 inch wheels in different style. The, the trim pieces that I was talking about is gonna be the piano black trim for the touring and then turn signal right on the uh, mirror there and then the EXL doesn't have it's like a matte finish doesn't have the turn signal so you can see that so that's the EXL that's touring and that's gonna be on the touring at least also as you go back so from the back here See the trim behind the EXL. And you can see that in the bottom here. So nothing there in the bottom. Uh, to really do it, it's going to have the roof rails. Um, it is available to install uh, on the EXL regular car. Now we saw two colors. There's a silver color and a beautiful day also. So that's what you see in the morning. Let's um, do uh, some reward start. So remote start to talk about it. EX all the way up. Um, EX is gonna be a cloth seat and it's gonna have remote start. So that's what you're gonna have the key and a push to start button. So you press and hold and it'll start the vehicle. What's also happening inside the temperature is set to 72 degrees. The heat and seat is set um, at a certain temperature threshold. The heated mirror also turns on. And back glass at uh, temperature, some type of temperature condition. Um, before we go in, as we travel uh, using this car, 
you got the tire fuel assist and the tire fuel assist uh, basically as you put air in the tire as when the car is started it will be back at you so instead of beeps to let you know that that you reach the right pressure and then you do have um, pressure pressures um, simulation in the vehicle actually they're gonna be real-time pressures which is uh, pretty nice that's a fuel economy 22 combined that 26 highway and 19 um, this one has a 9-speed transmission, so I'll show you the comparison on the EXL. Yes, I only have the V6. Um, so, you lose one mile per gallon uh, combined and CD. So, 9-speed transmission. You got a different button. Um, and you start seeing that feature also on the Odyssey 2018. Then push button um, also here, and then push button here for shifting to drive. So that is pretty interesting. Um, cup is gas cup. And there you go. Um, the second row, as you can see, you can move the seat forward and back. The seat is all the way in the back. Um, so plenty of uh, legroom space for tall people, six, like as tall as six too. Plenty of cup holder. You got cup holder on the armrest. On the side shade. And if you press this button here, very easy access to the back. And plenty of connections for the back room people. Parking sensors is also standard on all Tourings and Elite and that would not be on EXLs. So definitely touring and elite uh, differentiate themselves from from uh, each other. Pedal shifters uh, for sport driving, so you can also press sport here. Uh, on drive, you can also change the gears, but the only difference is when you do. Uh, on drive it will auto shift up um, after a while on sport it will stay on that, sh on that gear for you and then all you'd have to do to bring it back is press and holding the plus button that would bring it back to just a sport automatic uh, feature which is uh, um, yeah, very convenient there. there your buttons over here to change uh, the information on the display. You have your Bluetooth technology there for hands free pick up and hang up and back and voice command. Um, if you have an iPhone, you can use Siri iFree, um, which um, um, as you get in the car and you started driving you didn't plug in your phone um, you can still use Siri without having to grab your phone um, and have Siri to call or play some type of music or even send a text message and Siri can do that um, pretty nice um, 8 inch screen you got the Lin Watch camera 
um, under Turing, when you go to Elite, you don't get that anymore. Um, so I did the turn signal. And also if you press, like so turn signal does this on the right, if you press this button here, then you also have the lane watch camera. And then this is right behind the current red line. Um, so anything behind that red line is safe. And then uh, that's another 10 feet and then 21. So that is uh, kind of how you judge that. Um, Apple CarPlay is supported in here. So it's or Android Auto. So they would show the icon of Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. When you're plugged in, here as you can see there's two USBs and then there's one home five and two home five so just for like faster charging for you here okay, there's also a USB right under here it's too dark to show and a power outlet with aux you can play music um, any which way you like um, audio quick button here um, you can change source that's all your sources so plenty of choice on this vehicle it's just a great vehicle uh, the P stands for Pandora that's download you download that on your phone and since your phone would be connected to Bluetooth it's like connected the way Pandora the way you use Pandora on your phone so you definitely don't have to grab your phone to search up music on Pandora. Uh, iPod and connected wire with wire with your phone or an iPod. And then that's basically don't have to grab the iPod to find the music. You can do it straight from that. USB does the same thing for you there. Uh, and you can see HDMI as a source. Uh, plenty of options there a really a really good feature um, as a navigation is made by Garmin um, Garmin is a great uh, uh, product for navigation out there um, you probably heard of Garmin anybody did anybody does um, that's because they built a name for them so now it's in the Honda um, with a Honda connection, it makes the navigation even better now um, as you are as you are using the navigation, uh, you can use the voice command or you can tap um, let's move it here so you can tap to your destination just like you would do like on an iPad, iPhone, uh, to get to a destination, you can zoom out. Please drive to highlighted route. And zoom out to um, find a location and then just, uh, just have to zoom in just this way. Not a great way to do, yeah, and then you can just, there you go. That easy. And then all you have to do is press go um, to go there. Where to? That's how this looks like. On that places, recent, save, and category or address. Or your address boot in shortcut. Um, that is, um, I think that is pretty nice to have here. You can change your source over here. You can press this button that actually changes this. I'm pressing it now. Um, video and phone. And if we turn this on, which is your rear entertainment that support Blu-ray, uh, just give you a lot more choices. And I, when I press Actually, we're only gonna do on the music. 
and then now you can choose rear entertainment on that that is um a pretty cool pretty cool feature having all the buttons here and it's not a lot of them um, this one is part of the adaptive cruise control here um, and all cruise control if you press and hold this button it goes back to your regular cruise control um, and that would look like this so that would say cruise mode here press and hold that Keeping so lane keeping keeps you right in the middle of the lane, and that's a really nice feature if you're driving 45 to 90 mile an hour. Um, it keeps you in the middle of the lane. It's not gonna do big turns, but they'll do small little turn. Um, it's not. Uh, uh, it's not something you are gonna just leave your eye off the road but it's uh, really gonna be helpful doing like heavy construction areas long trips which is very nice um, it's just gonna help just keep the car in the middle and less adjustment to you and driver fatigue is gonna be reduced that's the main reason that is a really good feature um, and there's other safety features and in, that's included on that um, that it uses radar and then auto braking which is not the way call it is called like collision uh, mitigation system braking system you can see there so, um, really cool feature um, the pilot is really good at the all-wheel drive system which also have the torque vectoring system also um, which torque vectoring you see it like uh, the Acura super handling if you heard of that that's a good um, a, a good example it's partly like an X drive on a BMW I just distribute power exactly where you want it um, which makes it a great um, a vehicle to handle like on heavy situation like snow, mud, and sand. A normal would uh, take care of any and most um, weather like snow, um, maybe even going down on dirt road. Um, but when it gets really um, extensive type it is gonna you can change it to one of these and it's gonna handle a lot better uh, for you there um, Honda did a very a very deep research to get it um, when I talk about the talk vectoring uh, system it's of course not gonna be like the Acura for uh, dynamic controls um, it's more gonna be focused on a off-roading um, travel type vehicle that is that's gonna be um, well we got one more thing we're gonna cover um, that's gonna be uh, the end of this video um, I'm gonna do the reverse backup camera which I should cover. It's gonna cover on all the vehicles, all the pilots, not actually all the Honda vehicles that's gonna have. So if you're not just in the market on a Honda uh, pilot, big SUV um, type vehicle, um, you more like a CRV, HRV uh, type SUV, Car, which we can kind of see that's a CRV there that's an HRV um, gray blue so blue changes this uh, this year 
but as you can see this you see how wide the screen is to see all the way out the pathway that's a straight pathway it's not curvy in any ways um, so you can see all to the pathway there and then you can see part of the car the EXL that I was uh, earlier showing so to give you an idea of how it looks like I'm gonna turn the camera toward the back so you can see if you were backing up from a parking spot which you get you straight to the side of another car um, you start looking in the back like this you start looking like that all you can see is a back of another car um, but if when you're using this camera uh, really helps because now you can see uh, the back of that car and whatever car that would be coming in on a normal parking lot setting. Um, with this car you also have the rear cross traffic monitoring which is gonna um, warn you as a vehicle is actually coming and it gives you the direction of that vehicle. Um, so that is your normal view so that's what you'd see on most cars. This is actually wider um, than most car, um, but that would that gives you a good example of a normal view. And then this one is probably one of my favorite if you're a city driver, um, which I travel a lot. I go um, downtown um, to many other cities and backing up into a spot um, that's actually very useful. You can actually see, get really close. To another car that way. Well, that's it. Uh, that's uh, that was a 2017 Honda Pilot, and this is the touring version. We covered the uh, part of the EXL. I do have an EXL video um, that has the sensing feature. Um, also, uh, the one here it doesn't. So please like, uh, comment. Please, uh, when you comment, if there was another car that you'd like me to uh, cover, um, definitely let me know in the comment section. And uh, thank you for watching.